because they're sparkling. So we have another efficient trait. And she gets her hair cut. Now she needs a hat. Keep the stomach of her head from all that wandering. Goes to Hatter and says, look what I have. It's pretty. Well, my hats are expensive. I'm going to need four rather than three. <laughs> wow. For the issue. <laughs> and finally, for whatever reason, she needs a barrel. I don't know why you need a barrel for wandering, but she needs a barrel. <clears throat> Cooper loves the shiny things as well. Okay. Now what we just did was we introduced a new product into our economy, and this is a product that everybody values. So the next time the farmer comes to town and the farmer needs a chicken, now what can he do? He can trade these shiny things. We're not, I'm sorry, the farmer needs a barrel. Thank you. Now he can trade these shiny things. So he doesn't have to go and figure out what he can get for the cooper in exchange for a barrel. Now he has something that everybody values. Now everybody's applauding our wander. She made life a lot easier. She introduced a product that everybody values. So even if you're a vegetarian, you still value these because they can get you what you need. So this goes on for quite some time. And you've got these little shiny things start getting distributed throughout the economy through trade. Oh, you know what? You get a lot of what? <laughs> and this works out well. And everybody's hailing our wanderer for this wonderful thing she invented. Till one night when everybody's asleep. Everybody's sleeping and our thief comes to town. And our thief's been watching for quite some time now. And our thief said, you know what? Before, I really couldn't steal a chicken because they make a lot of noise when I try to steal them out and wake the farmer up. Couldn't steal a hat because he had these expensive hats, so our hatter keeps her in her place locked up relatively well. You can't steal a haircut because it's a service, and you can't steal a barrel because it's... So now while everybody's sleeping, she says, now we've got these new little shiny things introduced into our economy. And these are things that everybody wants. And they're small, and I can steal them pretty easily. So now she goes and she wipes everybody out of their shiny things. <laughs> now everybody wakes up, and what do they think? Ooh, this is bad. This is really, really bad. Thanks, Wanderer, for introducing this new product that's now easy to steal because everybody values it. Because, Eric, Wanderer, since you got us into this, you're getting us out of this. So we need you to go back and wander back to that place where you found all these little shiny things and go get us some more. Because life was really easy when we had these shiny things. So she goes back. No, that's the only prop I have, so you're going to have to resolve it. <laughs> so she goes back. And And same process repeats itself. This is how communism works. <laughs> Everyone just gets the same amount. So it repeats itself. And this product gets redistributed throughout the economy. But now they're a little bit smarter. And they say, you know what we should do here? We need to keep this stuff in a safe place. Because if we keep it in our own place, we know the thief's going to come. So they say, what about the recluse who lives way out on the other side of town? The recluse has this house, and she's kind of paranoid. And her house has bars on it. And there's big mangy dogs out front and big locks in the door. Nobody can get into that. Maybe we can ask the recluse if she can keep a hold of our shiny stuff and keep it safe. And then we'll come get it when we need it. So now a recluse comes in. And she thinks this is a great idea. This is where you're out. She thinks this is a brilliant idea because, you know, she's gotten kind of bored of being a recluse and decides, I want some friends. So she says, okay, we'll do this. I'll let you keep your shiny things in my house for free, and I'll keep them safe. So our farmer comes in. Now, of course, you're going to want to keep accounting records of all this so you know who's the suit. So the farmer comes in and leaves your shiny things. Okay. Now a wanderer comes in to drop off her shiny things. It's a commodity, it doesn't matter. <laughs> now our hatter. And our barber. And 
Dan Al Cooper. Now this upsets the thief because she thought she had a nice living going here. Now the stuff is in the recluse's house and there's no way she can get to it. But we see our next inefficiency here now. Because we have something everybody values, you have to add more security for this. So let's say that our hatter decides she wants to go buy a barrel. Now, the cooper has no need for a hat right now, so she needs to go get her shiny things. So she has to close her store and go all the way back and get some shiny things. How much is a uh, barrel going to be? Two. Two, okay. So she has to walk all the way out to the recluse's house, and she has to get two of her shiny things. Good accounting records. Okay. Now she's got to come all the way back. Trade. Now, of course, our Cooper doesn't want to get robbed again, so our Cooper has to close her shop. Come all the way down. Make sure the accounting records are done. Come all the way back. Now, what we did here was we added security, but we took away efficiency of trade. Now you've got all this going back and forth. So we've eliminated the inefficiencies of barter, and now we've created different inefficiencies of security. So this happens quite a lot now. And the people say, you know what, it's kind of a pain in the neck, but we'll deal with it. A recluse, however, is getting kind of upset. So a recluse is required to do math. We know how much a recluse hates to do math. So she comes up with this brilliant idea. She says, look, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to stop keeping records. I'm going to have you guys keep the records instead. So I don't want to do math anymore. And really, who can blame her? So she says, what we're going to do is, I've got your, how much I have for each one of you right here. I'm going to give you these pieces of paper, shiny stuff credit, which will allow you to keep track of how much stuff you have. This way, I don't have to do math anymore. And I'm happy. So she decides to start distributing these. So our farmer, where's our farmer? He's got five shiny stuff credit. And our wanderer has four. Profitable deed you have. <laughs> our hatter's got one. Barber has three. And Cooper's got <laughs> six. So now Recluse is very happy because she can take her accounting records and toss them. So you know what? Life is now easy. Now, these pieces of paper don't stop, serve nearly as much as a security issue because they're easy to hide. They don't have these big chunks of these shiny things walking around. Very easy to hide. So now what happens is we still have an inefficiency because it works like this. Let's say our farmer decides he wants to buy a hat. Or hat means money. So what our farmer has to do is go all the way to the recluse. Now remember, the recluse only did this because she doesn't want to do her accounting anymore. And say, all right, I need two of your shiny pieces. Two of my shiny pieces, I should say. So you get two of the shiny stuff credit. Remember, you're keeping track of the math now. Come all the way back. Get the hat. Now, Hatter has to close her store because she wants to go keep her shiny things safe. She comes all the way back, puts her shiny things in, gets two shiny stuff credit. So now basically we took the accounting and the math and we took it from the recluse and we gave it to the individual people. So this goes on for quite some time now, until our wanderer comes in. Now keep in mind, up to this point, our wanderer has been a very, led a very, very lazy life. She's a lazy individual. Now what you want 